Hey Eric, I just want to stop by and just tell you how much I appreciate what Home Depot's uh, doing. And first, let me say thank you for this. I appreciate that very much. Yes, and uh, But you all have done great for taking all the steps we've been talking about with COVID-19. It's here. We know it's here. Uh, and we hope and pray that this thing will slide out a little bit. We don't know what that what that time frame is. But the way you get it set up out front, the distance, social distancing, the mask and all that stuff, I just want to say as Mayor John, I appreciate what you're doing for our people and more importantly, you're also your staff. And so just kind of tell us a little bit, how you, what, what have you been experiencing? Well, <clears throat> our, our experience has just been uh, working very hard to, to make the safety of not only our customers but our associates our top priority. Uh, we're not we're not worried about sales. We just want to make sure that all of our our community, because it's our community too. We live here. We live here also. That's right. Uh, our, have access to the essentials that they that they need. I mean, it would be horrible to be in a, a, a two week quarantine with with not a hot water heater. Yeah. Right. And you, you can't just run over to the any store and, and do that. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's really the focus is just making sure that we can keep those essentials in. We're closing early. Uh, Home Depot has canceled all the. Um, any of the uh, special ads like our Spring Black Friday, which would normally happen, those have all been, all been canceled because we're trying to avoid driving crowds uh, through, through sales. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, the safety is just the, the number one thing we're looking for. Uh, so it's it's been a great experience. Uh, closing at six o'clock gives us a chance to sanitize every every all the entire front end, uh, all the high touch areas in the store, and every night all the carts and all the baskets. Not only are they mm -hmm sanitized after use but every night they're bleached yeah so we start off 100 percent clean every morning at six. Oh, okay great that's great well i know you know here we're sitting here with covid 19 and right after that we've got the tornado and so i know in your business you're having to deal with that as well right uh we we are uh we're starting to see some of that as a matter of fact the night of the tornado we we would normally stay uh, closed at six. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we actually stayed open till almost nine because we had a lot of people who were in, in need of emergency supplies, tarps, plywood, uh, things like that. So right. we, we stayed open so, so we could serve the community that way yeah. as well. But yeah. uh, you know, again, with that, <clears throat> anytime that there's a, a natural disaster or anything like yeah. that, uh, Home Depot is always going to step up. We, uh, between donating to, um, the, the governor's office to, to spread out, uh, you know, supplies to all the, the, the medical and frontline front people to, uh, you know, re getting extra supplies in here so people could start rebuilding uh -huh. as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. Well, we appreciate you being with me just for a few minutes and sharing that idea. And uh, if it wasn't for COVID, they'd shake your hand. And yes, sir. <laughs> but we can do well, the bump, I guess, right? We'll do, do the, the bump. bump. There you go. When this so. is all over, we'll have, to, we'll have to go to Starbucks and have a coffee. Hey, I'd love that. I'd love that. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Okay? I appreciate it.